Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Into the Breach. We are still in the middle of this island, so let's go ahead and jump in. Do we want rep or do we want power? I think the answer there is, of course, yes. 30% um, grid defense would be pretty fucking awesome. We don't really need... So the thing is, we have these Beck hormone shit thing, right? We can definitely turn that in for at least one rep at the end of the island. So, that being the case, technically speaking, we have one rep in reserve. So with one rep in reserve, really we have four reputation up here, not just three. Going off of that, then do we want six rep at the end of it, or do we want five rep? I mean, remember, we also get two rep for the actual corporate tower itself. So it's seven, like, do we want... Okay, hold on, mine's broken. Do we want six rep at the end of it or seven? And at that point, I believe I said before, six or seven really doesn't make too much of a difference. So I think we're going to go power. 29% grid defense would be pretty fucking cool if we could do it. Not to mention, I'd love to see what the hell the plus one is. I don't know if we're ever going to see that, but I'm curious. So let's see. Evacuations or excavation site, rather. Block back spawning three times. Sounds like something we could do. Or kill at least seven enemies. Also seems like something we could do, but that might be easier. I don't know if it's going to be easier, but... Let's do this one. Excavation site. Let's do it. It has pristine ancient roads and topiary design. Are you actually shitting me? Okay, that's hilarious. Alright. Well, they've surfaced. And of course we have a blast scion because... Um, Universe hates us and wants to see us die. So, let's move you over here. You drop in the back, because I think that's good for you, and then pulse mech over here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. Pod incoming. Okay, I will try to get that thing. Alright, so here goes all these guys. They're going around the world. You are flying over that way and endangering that building. You're going to throw something over there. Alright, sure. Just mess with my... Mess with my coal plant first turn. Hate you already. Okay, so blocking the Vec seems pretty easy here. Because all we have to do is shoot this. Right, the rocket artillery hits like here, bashes him. Or we could just block. No, actually, that won't. They'll just straight up kill him. That won't actually block anything, will it? Yeah, not really. Not really. Okay. Not to mention we need to kill this thing. That's just three freaking damage. We need to kill it. Or at least push it, if nothing else. Well, if I just slam you into him, that doesn't actually solve any of my problems. What about you? You have smoke. We could drop smoke right here. Doesn't block any Vec, but it does solve the problem of what do you do with these guys. Yeah, I guess it does. What about you? Well, if I move this guy away... And at this point, I'm kind of tempted to do so. Because I don't know what else to do with you. Let's say I move you away. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. So, you can't deal with this. That's too bad. I mean, do you have to deal with this? Maybe. And what about this guy? So, coming over here. Yeah, the thing is... You have to... Well, okay. I mean, I was going to say you have to do the smoke on him, but maybe you don't. So, alright, let's try to think about this. So, I mean, you can go anywhere to get the smoke. Because the smoke is not actually tied to you, it's tied to the airdrop. So, that's not a big deal. You're going to do two freaking damage. You need to be the one to take care of this thing. So, I think you just... I mean, you just step over one, and that'll do it. And then you can smoke this. And that'll take care of that. Okay. The smoke drop will damage these guys. 
Um, let's see, because the blast science is here, that means that's going to explode when we take care of it. Unless we take care of it some other way. These guys will be smoked. This is still going to take a lot of damage, though. Is there a way to do this without dying horribly? That's a good question. We do have the targeted airstrike, which can move some people around. Um, that takes one damage. Oh, actually, that could work. The smoke's not nearly as good, but one guy drops in a drink, and we hate him anyway, so he just dies. The Blast Scion doesn't die, but... Okay, no, 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 this is good, this is good. Because then that saves the building. You strike at nothing. So the Repulse Mech, can we do something better with you that doesn't use the smoke? Well, um, so I can push you back over, but that seems like a bad idea. I can just grab the time pod and nothing else, but I should probably try to protect... I would love to try to protect this. If I come over here... Oh, you're waterlogged. Right, so you can't do anything. Right. 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 Is the building just doomed? And push the adjacent tiles. Oh, 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 I can shield. Yeah. I shield up. The building shields up. And I think we're all good, right? You do have that ability, right? Where you're friendly now? Um, how do we look at that? Full smack is the smoke immunity, which is good. How do I look at your abilities? I can't look at your abilities for some reason. I thought I could. So I don't know. Oh, you can press the unit list. That's weird. But I think we bought that. I guess we could always reset turn if I'm wrong. But I believe if she pulses, she now protects the buildings as well. Shit, man, I really wish I could look and see what her abilities are. I mean, it is shielding it in the... Yeah, it's shielding it there, but I don't know if that's true or not. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will. Alright, undo move. Right, that was your move. Okay, that's not a big deal. Okay, I wanted to make sure that we didn't do anything too dumb. Um, so we should grab the time pod, right? That seems reasonable. Let's grab the time pod here. I'm just wondering... Okay, hold on. If I push you around... Push you that way, but that doesn't actually kill you. And doesn't get rid of this guy. So yeah, it doesn't kill the Blast Ion, but I think that's okay. Doesn't block any spawns either, which is too bad. Which means we're not going to get that rep. It's not going to happen. Unless we luck out. We could luck out. Like, this turn is not positioned very well, but maybe next turn. Yeah. The thing is, you want to do... You want to do this first. You want to pulse here first, because otherwise you push him back towards the building, and that's not good. So, let's repulse. It says it shields it, so I'm going to believe it. Okay, it is shielded. Alright, great. So, we don't take any damage from this guy. Fantastic. You come over here. And you smoke this. And that should... I'm hoping it pushes it in the water. Okay, it did. Because I was worried about the blast ion. But it looks like we're okay. So then you come over here. We get the pod. And... Thank you very much. So that guy's dead, which is great. Okay. Okay. I'm liking this. I mean, the smoke would have hurt these guys, and that's good, too. But next turn, we can take care of the Blast Scion, and then worry about these guys. I think that's just what we're going to have to do. Alright. Okay, shield absorbs the damage. That's all we want to see. Okay. Two back top side. Alright, you're in trouble. And... We're all in trouble. Okay. 
one guy attacking us. That is not a good placement for that rising up, so that's not great. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Pushing you into the water is not going to solve anything because you can fly. Can't leap. Could use smoke, though. Smoke these two guys. That would be something. They'd hurt then. Could smoke these guys. That would also kill them. Not bad. Okay, let's assume we smoke these guys. Because killing a blast sign seems like a reasonable thing to do. So we smoke that guy. That takes care of the pulse mech. You could... Let's see. Move one tile over and smoke him. That would do two damage to you. Not terrible. However, that means fire and cure, which is not great because it doesn't do anything really. It doesn't protect this guy. It doesn't hurt this guy. But we can come in instead is we come over here and we fire on you, surround you in smoke, you die. And then we just shoot over his head over here instead and then he doesn't actually take any damage. Okay, sure. Yeah, we only have one use of the smoke grenade, but I think now would be the time. Because it would kill him and it would kill him. Killing the blast sign is pretty damn important. We're not blocking any back though. It's not happening. Like I said, that that was a it was a pipe dream to begin with. I mean I could actually what we could do instead of smoking is come over here and pulse. And that will make this guy attack the blast sign. It doesn't kill the leaper. But it does save our smoke for later, and that might be the smarter option. When you come over here, that's what I want you to do. I could hit you also for two damage, I guess. I undo the move. Yeah, I'd be for two damage and moving you over one. So either way, you'd be damaged, but I like the idea of basically protecting. Yeah, I like the idea of protecting it with smoke. So if anybody comes in later, then theoretically they won't be able to attack from this side. They have to attack from the other sides. And it limits their strategic options, which opens ours up, I would hope. Yeah, so I'm going to pulse here instead of using the smoke. So you go that way, please. And then you are going to get smoked. Actually, doing this now in this order makes sense. Because then the plane's not in the way. So his attack is cancelled. And so is this guy's. Oops, sorry. Keep doing that. Oh, alright, you just did two damage. Oh, shit! The blast sign wasn't dead. We took grid. I'm gonna let it stand, because I'm dumb. Could reset the turn. But I don't know what that would be. Do that I could do better. I forgot he was upgraded. I thought... I thought that he still just had the one damage. But no, we upgraded him recently, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we just took grid damage there for no goddamn reason. You attack your friend. The boss science done. Okay. Back is up. He is, of course, threatened again. You can't web her, man. It's not possible. Okay, we can pulse here. And this is actually great, because we pulse three guys in a row. This guy doesn't go anywhere. Well, I mean, he does get pushed over. He doesn't die, though. Um, this guy goes in a drink. This guy just goes away. Um, we could block a Vec, I suppose. Block a Vec spawn. But this guy's going to be attacking a building, and it seems like we got to take care of that. Um, so I can come over here. I took damage because he exploded, right? Um, we could kill you. So what we do here is pulse. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah, undo the moves, though. Because right now I just want to make sure we do what we're supposed to do. All right, so go ahead and pulse. Which is good. You go ahead and hit this guy. Because why the hell not? 
Yeah, we should have gone for the other one because then we'd be able to kill seven back, huh? Yeah, that's probably a smarter idea. Okay, anyway. Not a problem. And kill that one. And okay, so the city's safe. Unfortunately, we did destroy part of it because I forgot how math works, apparently. Alright, lots of vec. Another way to threaten the coal plant. Okay, well, moving this guy seems pretty easy. Um, in fact, if we move you over here and then fire. That just kills you, right? It does. Which is probably a pretty good idea. Can I move you? Yeah, I can. I can move you right here. And then I pulse. You go that way. You go into the drink. And then I can come over here. And then when this guy is pulsed up, I can shoot him. Then he dies. Yeah, we should have gone for the other one. Where we would be fighting seven enemies, and I'm pretty sure we've killed at least seven. We haven't blocked any spawns, so didn't get that rep, so I just chose wrong there. Okay, well, at least we have a plan. And it's a nice, simple plan, too. Those are top I like. We didn't ever actually use the smoke at all. And... Bah. There we go. Did lose part of the city, though. Not really happy about that. Yeah, and failed our rep. Let's at least see what we got in the time pod. It's gotta be something good, right? Pod content. Okay, I like the boosters. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use them at all, but I like them. And of course, the reactor core. I was gonna open for a reactor core and then a pilot, but you know what? So it goes. So it goes. Okay, so with the reactor core, do we wanna put it in anybody else? I thought we had a plan for reactor core, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, moving, yeah, that's what it was. I remember now. So taking it off movement and putting it inside damage for rocket artillery. Um, three damage is nothing to sneeze at, so that's what I'm going to do. Take it off of there. We don't actually have anything for this, right? No, but shield friendly is good. Two health again, or movement. I don't think it really matters. Smoke drop is probably going to be better than boosters at this point. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my story. That's I'm sticking to it. Obviously, we want Storm Generator. And boosters for this guy would just be silly, I think. Targeted Strike's far better. I could see... I could see boosters working for this. You jump to a spot. Yeah. I could see it, but I'm not going to worry about it. No. No. Yeah, we're fine then. Okay. So then let's install here, get that plus one damage, and we're good to go. Alright, we actually get to do one more. I've totally miscalculated this while this works. So, uh, we could do Forgotten Hills and actually try to get 29% grid defense. And the satellite vault launches. Do not kill the volatile vec, protect the old earth bar. I mean, not killing a vex is not really our strong suit. I should have done this one. I feel a little silly. Um, let's try Remembrance Port, because I don't think I've done any of the launches before. That could be interesting. Okay, we have ourselves some VEC, and apparently some launch points. Okay, interesting. So I don't want to go too far over this side, so I think we just drop in this general area, and it should be good to go. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens with the VEC. He's firing on him. That's great. Fire at my guy, sure. Oh, okay. And, of course, one of these guys again. Also, ice around here. Right, so that would be bad. That would hurt the satellite rocket. Um, this might actually be an easy thing to... I'm going to say easy to block a Vec here, but maybe not. Or block a spawn. Maybe not, though. So, let's see. So if I smoke, that's not necessarily a terrible idea. I 
Well, pulsing would at least move this over, and that's probably not a bad idea. It doesn't hurt this guy, though. Come over here. Smoke this guy. That would kill him, because we did two damage now. So he dies. We pulse. That moves this over one into, looks like a safe area to me. And then it pulses this guy into the smoke, and then he might die to the smoke next turn. What about this guy? This guy we can probably not necessarily kill, but we could hurt. But I want to kill this guy instead. We do three damage. There's no reason not to just do those three. So, okay, let, let's do this part of the game play first. Pop you. Pop. That is smoked. Now you pulse. And also shields. And that's probably a good thing. So, sure, go ahead and shield up. Alright, you come over here. And you're gonna shoot this guy, because he's annoying as fuck, and we want him to die. Yeah, and sure enough, we do three damage, so he just dies. Alright, this guy's firing into nothing, this explodes into nothing, we're all good, it looks like. Okay. Oop. Okay, he does have four health, though. Alright, these guys are almost ready to launch. Blast Sign, of course, comes into a bad spot here. Alright. So, Pulsing here would move the Leaper into the smoke, and he has three health, so it won't kill him. But it will cause him some possible consternation, which is what I like to hear. Let's see. You do four damage, but you're striking the shielded city, so I don't really care what you do. What about you? So if I pulse, you go into there, take damage. You go over here, if I can push you up one, you'll die when the satellite launches, and that's probably a good thing. How would I do that? Well, I come down here, block a spawn, which is a pretty good thing to do, I guess. No, no, it won't work. It won't work. We do three damage now. So Blast Sign dies. We don't get it get to kill it from here. I think we just kill it. Yeah, that's probably the smart move. So if I come back up here. Yeah, I can't make it all the way down, so I can't touch this guy, at least not from here. If I go into the water, that's obviously gonna make it so I can't attack. Kind of missing um, Prospero can make things fly. We have enough reactor stuff now that I think we could totally make that work, but sadly, not currently an option. So, yeah, I basically this guy just kills a blast sign when he moves over. That's doable. We can make that work. So, yeah, pulse here. And then I guess we just strike this guy. So we'll do two damage, and then the electric will do two damage. That might just kill him. Yeah, that might just kill him. All right, go ahead and pulse. Boop. And then go ahead and kill that blast ion, because he's annoying and nobody likes him. And now you can go ahead and feel free to wreck this guy's day. Yeah, two damage on him. And then he's covered in electric smoke, which also does two damage. So, we only have this guy left. He's going to have one health. Good news for me. Okay, rocket takeoff. First satellite launch is protected. Alright, let's see what- oh shit, it's a snake. Hate that. Alright, you're gonna attack that guy. You're gonna attack that, which actually is gonna be fine, because we're shielded. And the snake is going to attack a hell of a lot more. Alright, if we pulse, this isn't gonna help, because the snake cannot be taken out by a pulse. So that's actually not helpful. We could smoke these three. Actually, would we that smoke three or would that only smoke two of them? 
I'll spell just two of them. If I drop it here, that would work. Okay, that's something to consider. What about you? You can't actually touch the snake at all. That sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Um, let's see, so if I come over here instead... And I shoot, like, you into you. That does kill the Leaper. Solves our problem. At least that problem. Okay. I can't push you, but I believe what he does is he burrows after he takes one damage, right? Yeah, I'll hide underground after taking one more damage. So, we just need to make him take damage. We can do that with a targeted strike. We target strike him, he takes all of one damage. But then he leaves. He's not actually going to move at all, so... That should be okay. Yeah, it's not great. It's not perfect, but I'll take what I can get. Stopping him from doing his attack would be great. And if we do that first, then we can move on top of this and block a spawn. We don't actually need to block a spawn, but it'd be nice to deal with less guys, I think. Um, probably not with you, though. Where do I want you? I want you a little bit further up so that we can deal with a little bit more. And then you go ahead and do the targeted strike. Yeah, hold on, let's undo moves. Let's make sure we're not doing something totally crazy. So you come up here, do a targeted strike, call on your friend, wingman, whatever. Boom. Oh, it did actually move our guy over. Interesting. Alright, well he was shielded anyway, so it didn't actually matter. Um, then we go ahead and come over here and hit you guys. It'll murder you and your friend too, which I like. And what do I want to do with you? If I pulse you into the satellite, that's just generally a bad idea. Because that'll hurt the satellite. I don't want that. Pulse you away from the city. Shielding again. Eh. I could shield the satellite rocket. I don't know if that's a good idea either. I can come in over here and shield these two. That's maybe not a bad idea. Um, or, let's see. I can't actually reach that point there. I guess I just block a spawn and just call it good. Yeah, let's just block a spawn. I was wondering if there's anything else we do with such a block and spawn, but it doesn't look like it. All right. Yeah, you have action available, but we could smoke him. If we smoke him, that will cause two damage to him. I'm sure what the hell we can smoke him. Actually, I just smoke these guys, and that's probably going to help protect the rocket, at least on two sides. Sure. Why not? Cancels his attack, too, so the shield still stays up. Why not? Why not? We only have one turn we need to worry about from here. And hey, two additional damage. Okay, rocket's ready to go. He is going to attack that city. The snake is back. Leaper is doing his thing. Okay. So yeah, this is death zone, so don't stay here. So, I can do three damage to this guy. He's dead. Alright, that's easy enough. I'll get rid of this guy, though. That is going to be tough. So I can come in instead. I can move up here. Hit this guy with three damage. That's more than he has. He dies. I can come in over here. Hit this guy with two damage. He dies. Come in over here. And push this guy. Well, push him into the drink so that he dies. I think we've actually come up with a plan. This is going a lot faster than it normally does, doesn't it? I don't know if I'm just... Yeah, I don't know if I'm just used to these guys now, or... We just have some great tactical options, I'm not sure what it is. So far though, it seems to be working out. And he actually leveled up. I think he leveled up. He goes in the drink, and we're all good. Satellites can launch. Boom.
Totally worked. Mission complete. And we got ourselves some rep. Okay, now it's time. And we need to actually level up. Plus one mech move. Oh man, that is like the worst option. Well, I mean, it's not worst. It's okay, but I would prefer if that was health. I understood. Okay, says my activity. Now we go back to corporate HQ. Vec Abomination. Is that the... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the... Okay, it's the Alpha Firefly Leader. Okay. So, Blast Scion sucks. For sure. Tell you what, we'll move in like... So, I guess? I guess. Okay. Alright. That's a straight shot. That's great, because then we can just move. Obviously, destroying the Firefly Leader would be fantastic. You know what? A smoke drop right here might actually not be a bad idea. That will kill him, kill him, hurt him, and cancel his attack. That's not terrible. I would totally do this. Yeah, I would totally do that. Um, another thing we can do is just move and fire on you. It won't kill you. It says it'll only do three damage. Oh, and then that's actually great, because then it also... <laughs> another way to kill the Blast Scion. Um, if we could actually make it so he attacks this guy instead, that would be great, but let's not be too focused on that. Let's see. Block a spawn with you, but that doesn't seem like the greatest idea. A targeted strike? That doesn't really help me? That would be interesting. That does save a building. We would have to move, because otherwise the target strike hits our jet, and that would just kill it. That could actually be pretty interesting, because then he kills Blast Sign himself. These guys get moved aside. And you don't do as much damage that way. I'd rather hit Smoke here, because then it also covers up this. Which, obviously, he's not going to stay where he's blocked, but... Also doing damage to the Firefly Leader. Probably for the best. It's okay, you get knocked down. So you're not hitting that. That's good. Or we just... Yeah, or we just hit you in smoke. Which means... Yeah, which means that this guy's not actually doing anything. Oh, what we could do is smoke these guys... Um, and then what? Well, I was thinking hit him. The thing is, if we hit him, he's going to move. If I smoke you, is there a way I could arrange the smoke? Let's see. I want to see if there's a way I can arrange the smoke that would... Oh, okay, so this would cancel his attack, right? Because he'd be smoked. And then we hit him. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't do two damage to him, but it does do three damage to him. Yeah, yeah, could work. Yeah, let's do this. Cancels the attack. He still gets his passive bonus, but he's going to explode. Or he's going to die. Um... We're coming over here. Let's see what attack order are we go in. Okay, so then we kind of save him from the electric, but we do knock him away and do three damage to him. I like it. Also set the, that tile on fire. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. And then come over here and surround this guy in smoke. Actually, hold on. I kind of want to come over here, fly past him, and then fly past him again. Only because I think that lets us move farther next turn. I could be wrong about that. It's interesting the smoke went away. I did not realize the smoke would go away when he got hit. Interesting. 
All right, everyone's attacks are canceled. Some people are in smoke. Let's see how this works. He dies. Oh, all right. Um, what? The order there was kind of fucked up. I don't understand. I don't understand that order at all. All right, that's actually not too bad. That's actually the best place he could have put that. The order there was messed up, though. I do not understand that. So this guy's going to die. Cinnabar, I'm sorry. How do we want to do this? Camilla could do what? She already used your smoke. Pushing here. I'm sure that does much. Does one damage to both these guys. The Leaper's still alive, though. Not sure about that. You could come forward one. Let this thing blow up. Nobody cares. Hit this guy for three. Oh, he's going to attack. Yeah, he attacks from both sides. Okay, but if I kill you, that opens up possibility for the plane to do one last final maneuver before it dies. Which could actually kill... Yeah, it means we leap into fire, which is obviously not great. But it will kill the Firefly Leader. Okay, so... Let's undo moves. Yeah, so the only move we've done is this one. Alright. You do this. That kills the Leaper, hurts the Firefly Leader. Let's do it. Okay. You come over here. And you pulse. That pushes this guy into the fire. And it might have been hurt his friend. Which would be great. Also protects the city. So, you know, let's not discount that possibility. Helping us out. You get out of the fire. And repair, I guess. Repairing would be good. Which removes the fire. Which means you don't die. Hey, we managed to save a pilot. It happens. So you do like, yeah, you do four damage against that guy. So he just dies. That's just great. You get one damage from fire, which means you're almost dead. Yeah, not as good as if this guy had hit you, but I think probably better all around. If there's a fire damage. You attack your friend. That explodes to nothing. We're good. All right. Of course, we have a snake. We hate snakes. Okay, a snake pops up and says hello to... Okay, says hello to the repulsor. Well, so we can hit the snake. I mean, that's not a problem. We hit the snake with the fire guy here, or we hit him here. We could kill the firefly leader right now. The trouble is that we leave no one left to tackle this guy. So I think we got to come down here, hit this guy, smoke him. Probably a good idea. I think the fire damage, yeah, fire damage happens first. So if we pulse, obviously it doesn't move him at all, but it will move him into the fire. Then I think he'll take additional fire damage. How about you? We can come over here. Any one of these two will work, I think. So I think here was probably better. And we'll open fire on you. Just three damage. It kills you instantly. Um, I love that. I would like more of it, please. I'm trying to think whether or not the fire damage will actually get him killed. I think it will. I think that's how that works. I'm hoping I'm praying here. Push you aside. Smoke you. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, he does do a tide fire. Damage. That's great. Okay. Well, victory in two turns. We got some people leaping out here. All right. Well, I mean, this is actually, like, totally easy. You push him into the fire. Okay, he won't die. Um, easiest way for him to die is to come over here and smoke him. And then we just shoot him. And then this guy can kick back with the brewski. I guess, because he's got nothing to do. So, bye-bye. And 
and bye bye. That's it. You can pulse if you like. I don't think there's any real reason to do that, but you can do it if you want to. Alright, I mean, I made some stupid mistakes with this building right here on B3, and that was dumb of me, but we lived. So we could buy some corporate power. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. What the hell is this? Aegon Mortar. Deals damage to two tiles, pushing one forwards and one backwards. That could replace our current one for the rocket artillery. Unfortunately, that means it does only one damage. I don't know. I like doing two damage, or three damage, rather. Is an interesting idea, though. Raining death. Dangerous projectile that damages everything it passes. Um, but it hurts a building in that in scenario, so that's not good. And not to mention self-damage one. What the actual fuck? No, that's horrible. You can do buildings immune, which is good, but... There's no self-immune, which is bad. That's a horrible idea. Use a grapple to pull mech towards object or units towards the mech. Right, we've seen that before. Phase cannon. Shoot a projectile that phases through objects. Oh. I, mean, I don't know what we would replace. What would we replace? The aerial bomb, maybe? Seems weird. Yeah, what would we replace? Targeted strike? Targeted strike's too fucking useful. I don't know, man. We should give up... Um, we have a donation to make, right? Yeah, the Vecor modes. We should give that up. Because it's useless for us anyway. The boosters are an interesting idea. I like them. I like them a lot, but I don't think we need them right now, so I think we just trash it. Yeah, away you go. So I mean, we have the rep. We should definitely buy some grid power. There we go. And if you want to buy some grid defense, that would not be bad either. Buying a reactor core is probably not a terrible idea. Do you want to trade any of these out? I mean, the phase cannon sounds really cool, but it's only a brute class weapon, so only the fighter jet can actually do it. And it only does one damage, whereas as opposed to the target strike, I suppose also does one damage. The phase cannon can be used multiple times in battle, which is good. Phases through objects is kind of a weird... Yeah, what if you don't have anything to phase through? Well, phase shield is an interesting addition there. So you shield anything you phase. That's interesting. That does help in case we can't actually get next to a guy. Well, and it pushes. That's kind of what targeted strikes doing right now, right? Is it pushes? I mean, it pushes in all directions. But we usually only do it for when we want to push in one direction. So phase cannon could work for us. Might be okay. Grappling hook's kind of weird. Also, that's a weird thing for a jet to do. Raining death is just the self-damage is too bad. I don't like it. Aegon mortar is a range class weapon, so the brute can't use it. Well, I mean, unless we like, really dedicate a lot of power to it. Damage to two tiles, pushing one forward and one backwards. That's some really interesting idea there. Assuming you get two back lined up, you don't always get that. Sometimes it happens. But more often than not, that will end actually in destroying buildings on either side. Yeah. The phase cannon might be the best thing. It's only two rep. So let's get to... I don't know. So if we do that, we, that means we get rid of Targeted Strike. Well, that means that we can use it more than once, though. It does mean we'll have to learn how to use it, though. Well, you know, I'm not above... Yeah, I mean, we could totally do that. Target Strike, we could move to somebody else, but I don't really have anybody else to do it on. What, that's the guy who's doing Smoke Drop right now? That does not seem like something we need to replace. 
All right. Um, sure. Let's do phase cannon. I'm kind of trepidatious about that, but donate that. And then I'll get a reactor core. I don't think we need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then we'll get some grid defense here. So we're still not close to the pilot bonus. Holy shit. Happen eventually. Alright. Then come over here. And guess what? You got a brand new phase cannon, which requires power. That's why we bought... Okay, so that's... My brain is working. It's not telling me what it's doing. But it's still working, so that's something. Alright, so I can install the mech reactor here. And that'll power up the phase cannon. Sounds like a plan. Ordinance activated. That damn right. Alright, that'll be this episode. Thanks for watching. It's been Into the Breach on PC Universe here, PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.